So there's this one more part about your life which not many people know. I'm privileged to know a bit about it as a friend. But it's also great learning for our viewers, right? And I want to marry these two thoughts. There was a time when you started your entrepreneurial journey and you started as two founders. And then very, in a very nascent stage of your journey, it turned into becoming a solo founder. I'm not going to bring in the gender card here because for me, a founder is a founder. Even though India has various thoughts around it, I'm sure you've faced enough issues around it that way. But imagine, and this is the mindset I want to understand, from starting with someone, suddenly overnight becoming a solo founder, from there to where you move into a different avatar, and now you have multiple co-founders heading different verticals. What is the learning? What is the thought process of dealing with that sudden moment of feeling alone because there was a vision, there was a thought process, idea was for two people to build it and suddenly you're all alone and you have to build it and it can be scary. People don't want to acknowledge this even though they talk about it. It's not just about the loneliness of our journey. I think Naya, it also impacts mental wellness to a great extent. Yeah. Because besides loneliness, it's also the thought process that you are talking about who you are talking about. हर दिन हमारे जिंदगी में रायता फैलता है, हर दिन भसर है, हर दिन we are fighting a new fire and we are douse it, है ना? People underestimate the requirement of that shoulder. You had it and then you were alone and then you moved into a journey where you have multiple. Take us through a mindset of a founder in running a journey, getting into this situation and suddenly becoming a solo founder. And then when you move to a situation where you are, where you have four or five co-founders now to rely on, to fight together. Two other ones, Darpan and Priyanka, that's okay. it. Yeah. When you have two other co-founders to rely on and therefore to that extent have a larger or broader base of comfort, if I may say so. Tell us a bit from our viewers' perspective of how does one deal with this? No, so I think you've put it beautifully and, and you know, I mean, uh, see, Mitesh is actually still a very, very dear friend. He was one of my best friends from high school, right? So when he, in, you know, to his credit, he was always very, very transparent about whatever he was undergoing. So I think what I'm very grateful for is that uh, he was honest, you know, and, you know, he'd just gotten married. Our company, we were just starting off. We didn't have that much yeah. money, you know. We yeah. were probably just gotten our first round of angel funding. There wasn't that much money in the system. There was not enough to, we, we weren't getting a salary, right? And honestly, while we glamorize entrepreneurship, there's some practical choices people make. And it was the right choice for him. I still think so, right? Because if he'd continued, he would have not had any money to support the family, right? But what that left me with, I think, is exactly what you said. I mean, I was uh, one of my, again, lowest lows, right? And I was like, yeah, mere se hope aega ki nahi. and please cut back. Yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, will it, will it, what will happen, right? You know, and, and I think it was a mixed blessing, if I really look back, because um, you know, the, how they say, right, you're, you, you become, like, it's like iron, right? You become tougher when you're on fire. I think it made me baptism very, by fire. baptism by fire. It's in Hindi, it's a word. Sona kundan aag se tapke hi banta hai. Haan, there you go. So you, you get it. Pressure makes diamonds yeah. is the other way to put yeah. it, right? So I think that's what happened with me. I mean, I really, um, pressure was very high. I mean, like, I was, I, 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 literally, except for the last, maybe, five months before this for the last eight and a half years I don't think I've slept a full night's sleep I just haven't and that is genuinely the reality of what my experience is and this journey and this journey and there's always something that's keeping you awake I'm not saying it's a good thing but I fully by the way and I talk a lot about it now at the mental health issue yeah. you know so many of us founders talk about it openly now amongst each other yeah right where we talk about just the strain and the stress of entrepreneurship um, and I think the fact that we need to really talk more about how to get support for those periods in life where you suddenly feel ki is say there's no future and there's no stigma in that support I've had I've had yeah. I've had founders come in my show and actually own up and state they actually go to a therapy or a therapist they undergo therapy because 
perhaps for them the biggest way of someone hearing them out without judging them yeah. is that one little zone bilkul so otherwise everywhere they're getting judged correct correct and i think the way to think about it is also that you know you um, as an as an entrepreneur right and i think about my team as a sports team i've said this before i don't think of my team as family you know that no that's nonsense I don't know, India mein bahut bolte hai, meri family, meri team. No, that's nonsense. I mean, like they're all individuals. They have their own personal aspirations, professional aspirations. They will leave the fold and go and more power to them, you know, or they will stay here and they will find success. And so, more, more will come. More will come. Yeah, yeah. So, it's a sports team. And I think our responsibility is to ourselves and to our team to ensure we all play to peak potential. A big part of peak potential is mental health. Right, so it's not just I think the right thing to do, which it is, hundred percent to seek help, to seek coaching, yeah. to seek therapy. Yeah, it's also the most practical thing to do if you want to play to peak potential as an entrepreneur and play the long game. True. So I see no reason why we should any time judge anybody. I think it's a practical choice to seek mental health uh, coaching or therapy, to seek leadership coaching. In many cases, I mean, many of us now I'm actively scouting for a leadership coach. right because i know that i there's more reservoir of leadership to unlock even within me mm. right now how do i unlock that i need to talk to someone who's trained who's professional who understands how this is done and who can give you that ladder to go to correct the so i think it's a part of it's a practical choice in many ways in your lowest low did you ever consider therapy i did i actually uh, I, i you know that was again the peak of covid right when i mentioned that the term sheets and all fell through i actually went online to seek coaching Right, and you're so right. I mean, the whole fear of judgment, because I mean, obviously we were we're fairly visible, right, as a founder. So I remember doing this video chat with someone on one of these mental health platforms. With a mask on. No, I didn't do my mask on. Yeah, I, I, first I did my camera off. I, I know someone like, with a mask on. No, so she then eventually, I mean, I changed my name, <laughs> right? So you know, I changed my name on the video chat, and then later I was like, what the hell was I doing? I'm not being, I'm not going to be, I can't be authentic if I'm not even changing my name in this conversation. So the next chat I did, it was uh, with a different therapist because they allocate yeah. like different people to you sometimes. It was with someone, and it was like I I gave my name and I said I'm going through this problem statement, and we had a very open, transparent acceptance conversation. Acceptance is key, you know, and the yeah. fact that so many times people don't understand that acceptance is also a life quote. True, and I think in and, and beautifully said, and I think acceptance and acknowledgement that. You need help, and the only person that can help you is you, you yourself. The person in the mirror. You know, till then it was always like a lot of also. It actually makes things worse, right? Because when you're looking at, I look like, for instance, my husband, or I looked at my team members, or I looked at my invest. I was like, why aren't you able to understand what I'm going through? And who can understand that? And it's so unfair on them. It's so unfair you're, on you're them. You're loading on further Correct? aspects of. It's actually destroying those relationships yeah. further, right? Absolutely. Because you're basically saying that you should know what I am feeling when you can't articulate. enough and you will never be able to articulate enough because there's so many there's a myriad of emotions going in your head right see even if you do i think our family's responsibility is always to try and act as the people to try and pull you out from drowning but it's also unfair for us to put them through that correct. because that's not their expertise they're doing it out of love correct and at times and i i don't know whether you ever said this out publicly or you're saying it out but this is what life boat is all about talking yeah. about moments which are so true that people our viewers realize that achievers are not achievers just because of x y z they are achievers because they go through the truth and that's what life is about right yeah. that's what life boat is about